Okay, calling Sean Jones, uh, District Court Administrator, Itasca, Kuchiching, and Lake of the Woods, 339, or 719, 2013. Hello, Sean. Can I help you, please? Uh, is Mr. Jones around? Yes, this is Mr. Jones. Oh, oh sorry. I didn't hear, hear you what you said to start with. This is... Okay, no problem. This is uh, Terry Nemers. I'm calling as per our agreement. Mm -hmm. And uh, just wanted to find out, uh, you obviously you got my email. Did you watch the YouTubes of the uh, conversation I had with your court staff? Well, listen to it, yes. Okay. And uh, what, were, what were your impressions? Well, my impressions were that it was a conversation recorded and... I mean, I, I have no idea uh, what the, the intent behind the conversation was. I just listened to what, what occurred. Uh, that's the best you can come up with. Not coming up with anything. Well, uh, that's true. You're, you're not coming up with any descriptors of the conduct of your uh, staff. I do believe my email was to ask, a specific purpose was to ask you, let's see, I'll read it to you again. I want to set up an appointment to speak to you in depth about the unhelpful, rude, nasty, obstructionist, insulting, and passive-aggressive behavior of some of your staff. A recording of the conversations I posted on YouTube and linked to my blog for your convenience. Please be prepared to tell me what actions or inaction you plan on taking and how long these actions will take to implement and be accomplished. Okay. Well, first, any actions that would occur between uh, my staff and I are employee-employer actions and would not be discussed with a member of the public. Um, and whatever actions that may arise, may or may not arise, out of the interaction you had with the staff will be appropriate for the nature of what occurred and will be handled internally, but they will not be discussed with members of the public. Okay. Um, there is a expectation of privacy in the employer-employee relationship, and, and I will respect that. Okay. So obviously you have no comment about whether they were helpful or not helpful then? I found that they gave information. <laughs> Mr. Jones, are you going to insult my intelligence through the rest of this conversation? I asked you a question. I demand an answer. Well, you can demand a lot of things, sir. That's true. See, but the thing is, you're paid with public monies, and uh, you are using up my time and my energy now. See? Um, actually... Whatever may or may not occur is a matter of employer-employee relationships. Those are governed by a, a multitude of, of privacy and confidentiality. And whatever may or may not happen is not going to be discussed with members of the public. Okay, well, I'm looking at a court customer survey from another state. And it says we are conducting a survey to learn how our citizens court of experience. Uh, would you be willing to help us evaluate the court by answering some questions? We realize your time is valuable and we sincerely appreciate you taking the time to complete this survey. And one question is, court personnel, on a scale of one to five being poor, five being excellent, were the courtroom personnel A, friendly and courteous, B, available to answer your questions, C, know the answer to your questions, D, willing to take the time to explain things to you? Now, obviously, if we would give a scale on each one of those questions, I think you'd be getting a one from me, from myself, and from uh, Mr. Salisbury. I can't speak for him, but I think that would be his opinion. Now, also, the, another question is judge. On a scale of one to five, do you feel that the judge, A, listened to your concerns, B, treated you with respect, C, fully explained what your choices were, 
D fairly adjudicated your case. Well, I think that's safe to say that uh, Mr. Salisbury would think that it'd be another set of ones. See? So the thing is, you do, probably not you yourself, because you don't know, want, to, want to know what actually happens in your courtroom or interactions with the public, but obviously this court did. See? Um, actually, sir, if you would check the website, um, I do believe the results of the last survey, which we just completed this year, actually, are posted on the Minnesota public website. Well, that's we good. Do conduct it every, uh, I think it's about every two or three years, something like that. So actually, we just went through that exercise. Well, that's good. But the thing is, I didn't know about it, and I'm glad to have, you know, explain this to you in person because you know we're doing a little talk about it, and I think probably an explanation to the public of what actually happens there instead of some, uh, some little uh, generic form, would be uh, better off. See. Because I've spoken to uh, other courts before. In fact, uh, I'm aware of Judge Drange, who your uh, court staff helped me spell incorrectly. It's not Darange, as it, she agreed it was spelled D-A-R-A-N-G-E. It's actually D-R-A-N-G-E. See, because I've reported things to his staff about uh, perjured testimony, uh, fraudulent court documents submitted into uh, the court record and they didn't want to hear about it either see so obviously uh, there's a reason why you have people like Judge Drange coming there and mentoring your judges because you want the same sort of thing injustice because I do believe he's kind of like injustice will travel See, so I presume that you will do absolutely nothing except pat them on the back that they handled the situation with their passive-aggressive behavior, just like they handled Mr. Salisbury in court, which your Kathy refused to tell me about, even though, according to your website, it says that it's their job to inform people what goes on in court, which I did relate to one of your court staff. So you have anything else to say? I am not going to debate to you. I'm not going to debate with you, sir. Uh, I'm not debating. I'm stating facts. And, uh, fine. I, again, I'm not going to debate with you. You've made me aware of the situation. I listened to it. Whatever actions are appropriate will be taken. But again, they would be taken under whatever employee-employee confidentiality that exists. And they are not going to be discussed with members of the public. Oh. I. I never said I wanted you to discuss that. I want to know what your impression was. My impression is that it is a conversation that occurred. I don't, I don't find a either party was, um, I, I just, it's a conversation that occurred. And I think it was approached in a manner that could have been handled better. On whose part? It is a conversation that could have been handled better. Okay. Well, obviously I'm not going to get any more information out of you. Obviously the same way that uh, you don't want to hear complaints in your uh, about your staff or about your judges. So that's fine. I have no problem with that because it's an educating experience speaking with you and that's the whole purpose of it to educate the public what really goes on you know in these supposed hallowed halls of injustice so well, we are a public court anybody can come sit and watch any of the cases and see exactly what occurs yeah well obviously your uh, court personnel Kathy did not want to relate to me what exactly happened we relate the matters as they are issued by the court, i.e. orders, um, detention orders, things like that that normally are available to the public. Well, actually it says... Excuse me, I'm still... I'm still sure, no questions. problem. They are not... That's what they are required to disclose to the public. They are not required to give a blow-by-blow -blow account of what may have occurred in court on any given day. 
Well, actually, it says according to minnesotacourts.gov, what court, what court staff can and cannot do for you? They can give you information on a court case. Well, obviously, she was in there witnessing what was going on in a court case. See? They can give you general information on court rules, procedures, and practices. Correct. Yes. The so, that are contained in the Minnesota Rules of Court, how to file a document, what dates are, you know, timelines, and so forth. They are not there to give a blow-by-blow -blow account of what may have occurred in any particular court hearing. That is why courts are public. So anybody who is curious what occurs in a court is more than welcome to come in and sit. Well, understandable. The only problem is... Uh, your judge deranged wouldn't allow Mr. Salisbury to enter information into the public record. See, then the public could actually see what's going on there, but now they don't know. The only people who do know is your uh, court staff, Kathy. See? Because again, it says they can give you information on court cases. She was there. That's information about a court case also. When it says information about a court case, what they are talking about is documents that are filed, orders that are issued by the court, things like that. Well, actually, it's a very generic statement, just like you are. That you're giving very generic very statements. Generic. See, because so there is a long okay, I am speaking now. Okay, so they can give you information on a court case, which is a vague statement, which means it can mean anything I want it to mean, just like what you're saying can mean anything you want to say, because you're hiding behind vague generalities, also. I'm finished speaking now. You can speak. <laughs> I have nothing to say. Sounds good. Well, I appreciate your time. Thank you for the call. You're welcome. I'm sure. Yep. Bye now.